Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a bow necklace. So, I don't have this on because I already have a necklace, but you may have seen me wear this in a different video. I'll put some clips up so you can actually see it on me. It's a really cute and simple necklace to make. Alright, the materials you'll need for this necklace are a wire cutter, two pairs of pliers, some type of bow. I got three of these in a pack for a dollar at Hobby Lobby. You want to make sure that the bow has a loop of fabric that allows you to put a jump ring through it. Then you'll need some chains, some jump rings, and a clasp of your choice. To make a basic bow necklace that's without this extra charm and chain hanging off, you'll need a chain long enough for your neck or the person you're making it for, this bow, and then you'll need four jump rings and a clasp of your choice. Here's what I'm using. This clasp turns to open and close. So the first thing I usually do is add a clasp. I know I show you guys all the time how to open and close a jump ring, but not everyone has seen all my videos, so I'm just going to show you once. What you do is take both pairs of pliers and pull one towards you and one away from you, and then the top will open up. While it's open, take your clasp and put one end through it. Then, while it's still open, take one end of your chain and put the link through that as well. Then you're going to close it back up by doing the exact same thing but just pushing the ends together instead of away from each other. Then you're going to repeat that step to attach the other end of the chain to this side of the clasp. Now it's time to attach a jump ring to the bow. I've already opened up this jump ring. Now I'm trying to push the jump ring through this fabric loop that's holding the bow together. You can see that it's through this loop right here. Before you close the jump ring on the bow, you'll need to open up another one and attach that to the very middle of your chain. I usually hold it at the top so the clasp is in the very middle. While the clasp is in the middle, you can tell that this link at the very top of my finger would be where you add the jump ring to. It's okay if it's not perfectly centered, but you want to get it pretty close. Close this jump ring up, grab your bow, and stick one end of its jump ring through. And then you're going to close the jump ring that's attached to your bow. There you go. And the reason you add two jump rings to your bow is because you want the bow to be facing forward when you're wearing it instead of to the side like this. Now for this optional step. There's no reason for me to actually show you how to do this because all you have to do is open up jump rings and attach it to chains. So basically you're just going to cut some more chain, whatever length you want, and you would add like at least three jump rings to it or two, whatever. But as you can see, here's the bow in the middle. You take another jump ring and attach it to the one that's attached to the chain right here. I will have this basic bow necklace in my Etsy shop for sale. The link is in the down bar. I don't have it pictured yet, but like if you go on there and you don't see it, leave me a message. Also, if you want me to add extra chain and a charm to it, then let me know that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and check out all of my links in the down bar. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!